Few people truly understand how much work the average teacher has to juggle to properly do the bare minimum of that job proficiently. The time and work required are compounded when attempting to do the bare minimum really well. The extra responsibilities most teachers take on, such as club and class sponsorships, coaching, mentoring, and the like, make the days and weeks become longer and more hectic and extend well into weekends. This video isn't about how much work teachers have to do, though. Other videos in this series go into greater detail on that if you're interested. It's just to set the tone for something most quality teachers suffer through that's even less understood. Imagine you're working as long and hard as you can to do your job the best you can. You're trying to differentiate all your lessons to apply across the entire gamut of socioeconomic gaps in your classroom, along with the gaps in prior knowledge and academic potential. You're trying to differentiate your instruction enough so that your lessons reach the kids who just started to learn English as well as they reach the native English speakers. Imagine that you're trying to teach every single point of every single strand of your curriculum in a limited time despite a slew of random absences, suspensions, vacations, field trips, and other things that pull kids out of your class over which you have no control. In the midst of all this work, every administrator, educational professor, and workshop host you've ever had has in some way implored you to develop strong relationships with your students so that you can understand them better and therefore not only empathize with their struggles but get through to them better. In the course of your development of strong relationships, you find yourself more understanding of your students and even willing to go that extra mile to help as many of them as you possibly can. You find yourself volunteering even more time to tutor those who are struggling in your class, after school, before school, during your lunchtime, talking to their parents or other teachers and counselors to help them in other classes they're struggling with. You find yourself attending your students' sporting events, music concerts, and art demonstrations to support their endeavors beyond your classroom. All of this is solid, fundamental relationship building which empowers your ability to reach your students in the classroom and to relate your content area to their personal interests and learning styles. You find yourself caring greatly for your students and having all of the passion to teach them and the compassion for them that you possibly can. You find yourself standing up for them when they're misunderstood. You feel some anger when other teachers who haven't gotten to know them as well as you have don't understand why they are the way they are or how to get through to them because you did what it took to find out. You go well beyond the extra mile to set them up for success, not because you get paid or compensated for it, but because you genuinely care about them. You care about them enough that when any of the annoying things about classroom management come up, you can handle them patiently, two, three at a time. The battle is to get teenagers to put cell phones away or pluck the headphones from ignoring ears, for example. The occasional obnoxious reminders that make these kids who you care greatly about and want nothing more than to see succeed, they really don't give a shit about what you're trying to do for them, including what you're trying to teach them or how you're trying to help them. Your paycheck sure as hell can't justify that kind of disrespect, so you rely on your understanding, passion, and genuine care for those kids to get you through each day. As the days roll on, you can handle those few speed bumps at a time, but at some point, perhaps multiple points, those annoyances don't just come two to three at a time from one or two students. They come nine to twelve at a time from half of the class or more. You have days when the majority of your students express just how little they care all at the same time in all kinds of different ways. Or maybe one or two of those young people that you care so much about, that you gave so much time for, that you stood up for because they really needed you when so many people told you they were a waste of time, one or more of those kids decides to lash out at you because they aren't in a good mood or to blatantly disrespect you and your class and everything that you do, having essentially zero knowledge or perspective for just how much you've done for them. Maybe they decide to curse you out or storm out of your class and slam the door and decide to bring something illegal into the classroom or make a deeply ignorant, insulting, and personal remark about you to the whole class for the cheap amusement of their peers at your expense. None of that hurts at face value. You have thick enough skin to absorb an insult or shrug off a slam door. You know it's nothing but the manifestation of immaturity and other young emotions. You know it's probably not even malevolent, but you better fucking believe it hurts all the same. It hurts in some deep emotional realm that you work so hard to cover every day when you put on that teacher mask. 
it leaves you mentally and emotionally exhausted and it burns you out so badly that you never want to pour that much of yourself into any students ever again because you know this isn't a rare exception but rather it's an inevitable consequence for putting yourself out so far on limbs so fragile. The ultimate cherry comes when all those professionals above you give their advice for dealing with that long burning sting. Every one of them has the nerve to look you in the eyes with a smile and tell you, don't take it personally. Well, fuck that. You may not get paid like the average degree-holding person, and you may work harder than the average person. You may even be able to take a lot more shit than the average person, but you are still a person. And when you get burned by the people you give everything to help, it's okay for it to hurt. It's okay for you to take that personally, because it is personal. But... It's not okay to let it sour inside of you and turn you bitter. It's not okay to let it cripple your passion, to take it out on the next student or become someone who is willing to settle for that bare minimum. It's not okay to be the kind of person who takes it so personally that you lose your humanity because many of these kids need love, humanity, and forgiveness modeled to them more than they need anything in the curriculum you're paid to teach them. If you're the kind of person who can give them that in the face of all that pain on a daily basis, then you just might be cut out for this career.